Have you heard of this term which our parents used to always tell us, saving for the rainy days? Well, that was what we've been brought up to here, right? Hi, my name is Kaho and I'm the founder of J Advisory and today I'm going to debunk or not really debunk, but I felt that I wanted to clarify as to this new meaning and how to give it to the next level in the new norm. So how many of you have heard of this term, saving for the rainy day? That's one of the things that my mom used to teach me a lot and that has been a habit that instilled been me since a very young age, right? And I still remember one time where I actually took some of the savings that I had to buy a magazine, right? Those, you know how when we were going in the school days in the primary school, where we actually buy those, you know, celebrity magazine and, you know, look how cool some of the celebrities are. And I got sounded because of that. And um, that is actually one very painful, I would say, experience because I thought when we save the money, we be able to use it, right? But uh, how does this relate to this video is saving is no longer enough for our rainy days. That's what I want to highlight here. So what do I mean, right? Those days uh, when when our parents actually asked us to save, it, it was enough for them in their time. What do I mean by that is because in 1972, ever since the US have taken the US dollar off the gold standard, right? It is no longer enough for us to save money because when the dollar or when your money is no longer tied to the gold standard, right? Uh, basically, your money is like funny money. Funny money here means to say it could, it could not be worth a lot because money used to be a container for us to store all our hard working, our effort, our blood, sweat and tears. But after when they did that in 1972, basically what they're saying is that they no longer value the same as what how much effort and we can't really store all this in the money money. So the new way of saving for the rainy days, I see is really about investing. Is is the new term should be investing for the rainy days. Why do I say that is because when your funny money or your money is no longer worth what it used to worth, right? Saving that is basically say putting paper aside. So, but by learning how to invest, you basically able to transform that money into some other container which we call it asset to hopefully grow in value over time does that make sense so today's session is a bit more deep <laughs> but i wanted to be able to uh, share with you my thoughts right and time and time again i've try to explain this to a lot more people but perhaps um, it's not an easy thing to do because wealth is something that we cannot see with our eyes so when we cannot see hence we cannot manage it so I highly encourage all of you to learn how to invest not because we all want to get rich of course we all want to get rich but right now it has become the necessity that you need to know how to invest because of what happened in 1972, right? So let me know whether you agree or disagree in the comment section. And yeah, perhaps I can make another video just to elaborate further on this, right? So remember, invest for the rainy days, no longer saving for the